guys first lady forever blue um, just doing an overview some charts I'm gonna be looking at the the cable GBP USD but of course first as I always say it's best to look at the dollar currency the DXY to see in what direction um, we're heading in in reference to the dollar and as you see previously I had drawn out the cipher pattern here and we also have a bullish market pattern a inverted head and shoulders currently we have a bullish engulfing candle um, it is the daily so I'm looking for this to close above this trend line and that will give me confirmation that we possibly could be going further up in an uptrend um, what also could happen is the next candle could basically just test, test this resistance level and form a bearish track and continue down here for a little bit maybe consolidate and so forth but that's not usually the workings of the inherited, inver inverted head and shoulders pattern so this is just an interesting um, piece of information because I have a I think it's a bat it's a bullish bat on my on NUZ, NZD USD and it should be turning around to start going up which would indicate that DXY the dollar would rise the dollar would fall the dollar would rise making NZD fall I, I said that backwards I'm a little dyslexic so sometimes I say things backwards I have to catch myself or may I have to pause just to um, make sure I'm saying it in the correct fashion but that's this is what I'm looking at right now. I'm really trying to pay attention to this. It's very important because it, it, it's essential in your trading to understand what's happening in the dollar if you're trading dollar pairs. This is why I understand why sometimes people trade cross pairs um, because of this. And then there are times that people say trade each pair individually and don't worry about what's going on with other pairs. But there are direct correlations that you should take into account when trading, especially when you're putting your live money on the line. But let's go into um, GBP USD and see what's going on <clears throat> okay so right now we can clearly see that um, we are in a bullish trend it's a bullish market right now um, there are a few things I can see um, but first step by step this is a completely naked chart we need to first understand structure um, possible trend lines is going to give us some identification as to where we are um, and then of course there are harmonics the the market movement the raw market movement in which the market moves and that can give us um, potential reversal zones where we can enter and exit on trades um, the way I've always learned I learned by someone who consults with the bank on trading and teaches bankers even how to trade um, these waves are points of reactions in which banks make their moves so being able to identify one impulse leg will help you in identifying harmonic patterns so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this chart up according to levels of support and resistance um, these are levels in which uh, price gravitates to once it finds support the next um, destination is resistance and so so on so um, we can start from the initial low right here this is where it found support and then it went up to find a level of resistance here um, we have a level of resistance here let's say yeah let's say here I'll put like right here a whole bunch more weeks so we have three areas in which we have uh, support and resistance let's see even let's see right here I can put one right here as well so this is a minor level of this is right now is acting as support as we can see support support a strong level because it has on, on multiple occasions been respected right here is support right here is support as broken support came back down acted as resistance broke it again came up 
broke it again, came up, broke it, broke it, now is acting as support again. So this is a very strong level of support and resistance. Currently it is in a support phase. This is how we identify strong levels of support and resistance. Um, same thing can be said here, right here, only one touch, so not necessarily. If anything, I would probably put it right here. That would be more accurate. This is probably market manipulation um, or some type of news. Here is Brexit. Most people know when uh, the European Union, when they left, it caused a big drop over a thousand pips in the market. And so what is happening is when you see large drops like this, most likely nine times out of ten, the market is going to try to do a, what they call a correction or a pullback to fill in this gap, so to speak. So that's most likely why you're seeing this strong uptrend. How we can identify an uptrend as well is you want to use a trend line. Anything above this trend line, we're in a buy. Anything below, it would be considered a sell, and so forth and so on. So, right now we are sitting in on support. So, or this is the level of support, or what they call a demand zone. So, once the price hits down, there's liquidity in the market, and the price reacts to this level. And as you can see, it's starting to go up. We created a um, a huge engulfing bullish candle but now we have a bearish or sellers coming back into the market this very mail way come back into this area here and then continue up which is very likely as far as harmonics are going as you can see um, I see one here possible formation of a harmonic So looks like it could be a bearish bet. So once price comes up to this level of resistance, it breaks it, most likely it will reverse at this level. It's a strong level of resistance as well, as you can see right here. When price re reached here, it tried to break above, failed, tried to break above, failed, tried one more time, failed, tried again fail very strong level of resistance here so of course it lines up with our bearish bat so if anything you can take this as a signal as well if you want you got to put a sell limit right there put your stop loss I would say since this could be a swing you can put your stop loss maybe 50 to 100 pips above the high you don't want to get stopped out you want to use proper risk management. Um, so that's what I see currently what's going on in the market, where we could be going. Most likely this is going to rise here. You can probably take this buy up to D or wait to D and take it down for a retest and then it will continue up. So it'll probably come down here. Um, take profit levels are 38.2 and 61.8 at the D. Let's see where we fall. About 38.2 falls. Ah, it falls right, right around here. At a, min at a minimum. Most likely it's going to respect structure. So we may come down a little lower. We'll see. It's, it's good area. It's good area. Actually, it's right here. Good area of structure. So price will come here and probably come down, bounce, and then rally all the way back up. Um, in the next area would most likely be right here a level of resistance let's mark that as red for now and we'll mark this one as red as well okay and that's just one that's how you tie everything together I guess to say um, to get an idea where you are in the markets what's going on if for instance we were to break we can actually come down and break this level of support, come down, hit this, and then bounce up. That's very possible as well, since 61.8 is also a take profit too. We come down here, it can still fall. It can still fall a little lower and hit this trend line and bounce up. We already have two um, taps to the trend line. Usually there are about three or four taps to a trend line, 
and do you see a significant amount of reaction either it's going to break it in, in, in fall and create a selling opportunity or is going to resist or reject it has confirmed it three times or four times and it will bounce up so that's what we could see actually um, we can see this possible happen this could be happening maybe this week or well, this can happen this week and next week but let's just wait and see let the trade come to you before you jump in it's on a daily so it's going to take some time for it to happen but in the interim on a larger scale what do we see there is a potential crab being formed which is another harmonic pattern and it would look something like this Crabby, like right. No. Right there. Where we're looking at, um, I could tell you is a 618. Let's just, um, let's put this one second. <coughs> Make it look nice, a little neater. And so let me just do a, a, a more accurate um, measurement. This one six one eight is where I want to be at. Okay, so does this uh, line up with some areas of structure? If you look left, it definitely does. As you can see over here, from this standpoint over here, um, we see some structure here. We see some wicks here. So definitely this is an, an excellent area for price to probably make a, a reversal after this level here. Um, so this is the bigger picture of what is possibly happening um, if we break once we break this level of resistance here we definitely can see some upside to finish out and complete this pattern um, since the B point is broken it's in the process of validating that pattern um, it's just taking some time to do that again this is a daily chart so it will take some time to get there so when you're working up on a daily chart what happens is you have this chart marked up for some weeks and possibly even some months and then all of a sudden you look back and you see, oh wow, we are about to complete a harmonic pattern. And of course, the larger the time frame, the more pips. And let's see how many pips we could possibly catch with this pattern here. X to D. Wow. Let me just change the colors. Um, so I can identify where I am. Wow. And this actually is still creating a lower high. So we can look potentially for at least a, a first take profit level, which would be at, at this area of um, structure here. Excuse me, boss. You have a text message. Oh, someone's calling me. So we're looking at about whoa, 1,096 pips. 1,096 pips. Put a standard light on that. That's $10,096. So this is a good pair to watch, actually. Very, very, very good pair to watch. Um, you put your stops right above this high here, which. I will always say about a hundred pips or more. You're on the daily time frame. G U is known for spiking. So like maybe somewhere right here. Oh, that's 590 pips. That's a lot of pips. I always say I usually say about a good hundred, hundred pips, maybe 150. Be right here. Or if you're trying to put some major lots on this, I will just watch it carefully and see what what's what. But um. This is what I see for the GU. Again, the GU correlates with the DXY, the dollar. So in order for this to go up, 
the dollar would have to rise. The dollar would have to fall, actually. The dollar would have to fall for GU to rise. There goes my dyslexia again. Again, so the DXY would have to be in a downtrend in order for GU. <laughs> See, I did it again. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up here. But either way, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I tell you, when you have one, you solve one problem, you come up with another. But anyway, this is my chart confession for this particular chart, GU. And, um,. Hopefully, um, you get some good knowledge out of this, some education. If you have any questions and you don't understand anything, hit me up. I'm always here. Talk to you later. Bye.